So hey everybody, still looking like a hot mess. Yeah, I haven't showered yet. I feel like I'm just, I'm starting too many things, but I think I've reached the point of, okay, I think I'm done. So we're battened down again. I moved the one air cooler in here. There's the other one in there. Fans going in there. Casey's in there resting comfortably. Move the ottoman. Sorry, I can't see what I'm taping. In here for Kamiley. Of course, she's got her water bowl. Move Lexi to the um, noodle. Where are you? Can't see you. There you are. So she's in the recliner. Look, I appreciate all the comments and suggestions, but people aren't understanding what I'm trying to say. I've done the best I can. I'm not buying any more. I've used up every resource I could possibly think of. It isn't as simple as going out and buying something. What you have to understand is we are not used to this heat here. Therefore, supply exceeds demand or demand exceeds supply. I can't even process what I'm trying to think and say. So when stores get air conditioners, air coolers, window air conditioners, whatever word you want to call it, they go really fast. And this all caught us, along with the holiday weekend, by surprise. This heat advisory caught everybody completely off guard. So I am not leaving the girls have to shut everything down, leave them in a hot house to go on a wild goose chase. I have tried my very best. And this is the best I can do for us. So for a minute, comments are going to be disabled. I just feel like I have to address things continuously. Just go out and buy something. Just go out and buy an air conditioner. It's really simple to install. It's really inexpensive. No, it's not inexpensive. Minimum is about $300 to $500, depending on what you see online. That is only available online. I can't even get something sent to the store so I can go pick it up tomorrow. Everybody is in the same boat here. Everybody is out of stock. I can get it next week. I can't get it tomorrow. I can't get anything today. I'm not again going to go on a wild goose chase all over this city, burning up gas, leaving the girls in a hot house because I won't leave anything on. I'm just not going to do it. So we have to just suck it up, take some showers, take some baths throughout the day. And I've already decided when things get really bad between 3.30 and 4, we're going to head out to McDonald's. I'm going to go get some dinner, lunch, whatever I want to call it. And we're going to stay out for two to three hours or as long as the girls can take being in an air-conditioned car. Because I won't turn off the car. I mean, I may turn it off periodically if we can find a shady spot and if it's cooler north. There's a lot of if, 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 if. But at least we're going to get out. We're going to get an air-conditioned car. We're going to get out of the house when it gets really bad. I'm hoping we can stay out a couple hours. So by the time we get back... The worst part of the sun will have dissipated on the side of the house. Not to say the heat's going to dissipate, but the sun is going to be shifted by then. So, like I said, I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the suggestions. But we're losing something in the translation is you're not understanding. I'm not going to do any more than I've already done. I'm just trying to update you as to what's going on here. Um, maybe I'll just take a little break for the next couple of days and, um, I'll see you once we get through this. Okay. So thank you for everybody's prayers and your comments and your concerns, but I'm out. Bye.